Alrighty, well, it's my first day out and uh, I've got about an hour left of this hiking in the dark and I'm excited for this year. This year I'm hoping to um, uh, turn up a mature deer, a really old buck. And last year I, I was a little beat down, um, was starting to go through some health things and tagged out a little sooner than I would have liked to. So this year my goals are to uh, hold out, maybe get some footage of some different bucks and uh, really looking for that older buck. So here we go, 2022, let's see what happens. Cheers. It's my first morning out and I've got some bucks fighting right here. I'm just trying to slip in. action this morning and then where I'm at right now is a wet hole dead so I'm gonna keep grinding hopefully I come across something it's a beautiful day Alrighty, it is noon and taking a little lunch break. This morning was eventful. If you are looking for does and, uh, and small bucks, <laughs> I'm gonna keep looking. It's windy, so that's some sound cover. Uh, all the does I've walked right in far, so let's see. Hopefully this evening gets better. All right, here's the deal. I've been sick for about a week, and this is my first day back. Um, I was planning to hold out for a good buck this year. Still am, but um, I just lost a lot of time this year um, in the looking part, so I think I'd be ready with any mature buck. Um, doesn't matter really you know, what he might score. It's more about just knowing that it's an older deer, and I'd be happy with that. So it snowed a lot, we had a big storm hit, a lot, of, a lot of snow in the Cascade Range, Oregon, and um, I'm just gonna give it heck today. I have no idea what I'll see. I don't know what the deer are doing right now, but I'm gonna give it heck. So let's see what happens.
Well, Dad got a good buck yesterday, and I've got uh, three days left this season. And, um, you know, I was really trying to hold out for mature buck. And it's just been challenging this year to pull, uh, turn up that mature buck. And they've been a little switched on smart. So uh, it's not looking good, but I'll just keep, keep grinding until the end. I just shot a buck. It was a 70 yard shot downhill. Um, it didn't look like I got much penetration, but um, the buck ran really fast. And then I thought I saw him tumble, but I have no idea what exactly I hit. It looked like shoulder. And he looks like a really heavy fork by four. Could be the one I saw earlier in the week. But man, I have grinded this season. And I've got a really good four point below me that I was putting stock on. And then I saw this other buck come out. All right, I can't believe it. Yeah, baby. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's a good buck. He is the fork by four. Yes. I wanted this buck so bad the other day. Look at this dude. Here's another look at him. I still just, ah, I'm in disbelief. This is a great buck. He's a fork by four. Um, he's just an old mature buck. You see that Roman nose there? And he's just a big old blocky head on him. Big eye guards, bladed out. And he's just a good, a really good buck. I made a perfect shot and it was a long shot. So I was a little worried, but I watched him fall. Um, I turned on my GoPro, but it must, the battery must have died, which is unfortunate, but I can't be happier. There is no way in the world would I trade anything about how that experience happened. I'm just blown away. Ah, he's a great buck. He's gonna, he's gonna go on the wall. Just a buck of this age class, you have to. Thank you, Lord. The Lord really blessed me today. I've had a rough year. Um, I've already told that story once. I'm not gonna tell it again, it's, not, it's no longer. Where I'm headed, I'm headed on, on the direction of uh, getting better and doing what I love to do, which is hunt black tail bucks like this in the snow and do it by myself in the high country of Oregon. Thank you everybody who uh, supports me and what I love to do.